तो कैसे हैं आप लोग आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई YouTube चैनल कोडिंग बाई फन एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टू डेज क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द काउंट ऑफ द ट्रिपलेट्स सो वॉट आर दिस ट्रिपलेट्स लेट सी दी डेफिनेशन द टास्क इज टू काउंट ऑल द ट्रिपलेट्स सच डेट टू एलिमेंट्स द सम ऑफ टू एलिमेंट्स इक्वल्स टू दर्ड एलिमेंट सो लेट सी दी एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट we have an array of four integers as given here 1 5 3 2 so what are the triplets here that is 1 plus 2 equals to 3 yes 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 so this is one triplet 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 so this is another triplet so total there are two triplets in this array so output is 2 so let's see the concept and then we will implement the code part right So for implementing, let's see. So let's say we have an example. We have an array, and one, five, two, three. Right. So this is the array initially given, and as we already see, the number of triplets are two. That are one plus two equals to three. This is one triplet, and two plus three equals to five. This is another triplet. So we have to find such type of triplets in this array. So what I will do first, I will short this array. Right? I'm shorting this array. So one, two, three, five, and let's say some other numbers are also there. Let's say it's Four here and six, but we are shorting it. So let uh, me make another array which is short. Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and let's seven. These are the numbers initially we have after shorting. Right? Shorted. So now what we have to do? We have to iterate it from the the first position. That is in the for loop. I I am taking three variables. That is, let's say i is pointing to this one, k is pointing to this one, and let's say j is pointing to this one. So what I will check if a of j, let me write here, if a of j plus a of k is equal to a of i, then I will just increment the count. As you can see here, one plus is equals to seven, so I will increment it. And by incrementing the count, I will also increment the j, and I will decrement k. So k will point to here, j will point to here. Now similarly, I will uh, check two plus five is equals to seven. Yes, right here. So I will increment the count, and j plus plus and k minus minus until j is less than k. I will follow this. Right in the while loop, I will implement this until j is less than k. Similarly, here four plus three equals seven. Right, I will implement the count and j. Then condition will be false. Like this will be in the while loop. Now what I will do? I will decrease the i now. That is, i will point into here. J will j will again again come to zero and k will again point to i minus one. And similarly, I follow the same until i comes here. Right, same procedure, and at the end we will return the count. So this was the concept, and let's do the coding part now. So what we have to take initially input. Let's see in the input part we have to take an n as an input. So int n, and also defining an array of n integers. I'm taking the input for the array. Right now, again, first of all, I should sort the array first. Now, then make a for loop for iterating. I equals to zero. But I will start from the end, right? So i is equals to i minus n minus one. 
i is greater than equals to 1 i is greater than equals to no i is greater than equal not equals to i is greater than 1 i plus plus and in this initially i am initializing j is equals to 0 and k is equals to i minus 1 k will point to i minus 1 and now while j is less than k until that I will do if a of j plus a of k is equals to a of i and I will simply do count plus plus and j plus plus and k minus minus so let's define the count also here int count is equals to 0 right? now else if a of j plus a of k is less than a of i so I will just increment the j else I will decrement the k right? and that's all. So I will check if count is there, then we will simply see how count, count right. Else we will see out as they have already given. If there is no any triplet, then we have to print minus one. So minus one and of the I think we have completed. So let's compile to check the errors or session expert let me refresh now i have refreshed and we have done one mistake right so it's i minus minus where because we are accessing the array from the back side so it will be i minus minus and now let's compile it so yes we are getting the same output as two minus one here so let's submit it to check for the further test cases we are passing or not On the triplets. Yes, we have passed all the test cases and it's 0 0.04 time is taking. And I think this is a very good question that is asked in the interview. So if you like this video, you can share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and also click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification of my next video. See you. Bye bye.